Hi Bond Bakers, welcome back to my channel. You're with Nicole and if you're new here, I share lots of delicious home style recipes as well as baking tips and tricks. Today, I'm gonna to take you through my top seven absolutely must make recipes this festive season. I was gonna make it five, but I had too many to share with you. These recipes are all bursting full of flavor. Some of them are sweet, some of them are savory. So you can pick and choose what suits you and your family and friends. I can guarantee that at least one of these recipes is gonna become a new favorite of yours and it'll be a staple at your festive occasion every year. If you're a little bit Christmas crazy and want more recipes, I do have a Christmas ebook available on my website and I'll also leave the link in the description box below for you. It's full of old classics and new favorites. This one is an exclusive ebook only available up on my website and it's only $9 so make sure you check it out if you're looking for a few more recipes this Christmas. But now let me take you through my top seven recipes. My first must make recipe this Christmas is my baked brie with cranberries and pecans. This recipe is a fantastic starter, an absolutely cracking one to start the day. You've got this oozy cheese, you've got the cranberries that give that beautiful festive pop. And then it's also got some secret Christmas spices in it throughout. So it gives it that beautiful Christmas charm. And then it's dusted with orange. So it's a really lovely festive recipe and a really impressive one to start your Christmas day. My second must make recipe this festive season is my Christmas potatoes. Now these Christmas potatoes are a beautiful accompaniment to the main meal. I feel like no Christmas meal is complete without some potatoes. So these ones are crispy on the outside, fluffy in the middle. They've got a beautiful Parmesan crust and then they're topped with some herbs. You can pick and choose what ones you like. So you've got that green and then you sprinkle them with some cranberries as well. So you get all these beautiful festive colors coming through and it looks absolutely stunning on your Christmas table. Now with these potatoes, because you do go that little bit extra with the herbs and the cranberries, it just gives it that really special feeling. We're all used to eating potatoes on Christmas day, but these ones are really something special. Little side note here, if you are vegan, just leave off the Parmesan or add a little bit of vegan cheese. My third must make Christmas recipe this season is my Christmas Krispies with white chocolate, coconut and cranberries. Now everyone likes a little bubbles and crunch and this is pretty much a Rice Krispies recipe. These ones are great because it's not too filling and you can have it pretty much any time throughout Christmas day. You don't have to wait till after. Just start handing them out as soon as people arrive. You can also cut them up into smaller pieces or make a huge Christmas tower like I've done in my photo here. And it's just a really fun recipe. It's also super quick and easy to make and you can make it the day before as well. This recipe is also a really affordable way if you need to feed the masses and kids absolutely love it as well to get them in the kitchen and get them having some fun. My fourth recipe to make this festive season is chocolate truffles. Now everybody loves chocolate. This is a beautiful bite-sized indulgent piece that everyone is going to be thankful for. And they're really also a really nice Christmas gift. So if you wanted to make them ahead of time, you can do that. You can wrap them up in a little, a little bag and gift them. And they're also really easy to just put on the table and people can have them throughout the day as well. With truffles as well, you have the option of adding that little bit of alcohol, so like rum for example, but you can also leave it out. I actually really like this recipe without any of it, which is why I've left it out. But the choice is yours and everyone's gonna love a bit of chocolate. Recipe number five, you have to make this festive season, is my stuffed Santas with strawberries and cream. This is a really super cute recipe. It's super quick and easy to make as well. And it's a nice fruity dessert and a really light one as well if you don't wanna have too much or something heavy after eating all day. This is also a really fun and creative recipe. If being in the kitchen is really not your thing, you wanna spend more time with your friends and loved ones because it is so super easy, but it's also really cute. I mean, it's just a really nice recipe and who doesn't love a bit of strawberries and cream? 
Recipe number six that you absolutely must make this festive season. And this one is my personal favorite. It is the beautiful pecan pie. Now I fell in love with pecan pie when I was living overseas in Canada. It's not a very Australian dessert, but that's probably why I like it so much because it's a little bit unique. It's a little bit different. And I absolutely recommend this recipe because you've got a beautiful traditional pie crust. It's super buttery and then you pair it with the pecan cans and you've just got this like flavor combo that is just screaming hell yes so i would absolutely make this one if you're living somewhere colder this is a beautiful one to warm the tummy and even if you're living in australia like me if you put this on your christmas table everyone is gonna love it I also find this recipe to be a little bit underrated. I don't know why, but pecan pie just doesn't sound super amazing, but this one is exceptional and it's full of spices as well. You've got so much flavor and just, just make it. I challenge you not to like it. Last but not least, festive recipe that you must make this season. Number seven, my hot one is gingerbread cookies. Now, my gingerbread cookies don't have molasses in them. They're beautifully soft baked. And what is a Christmas without a little bit of ginger? So you need to put this on your list and check in it twice. <laughs> So yeah, put it on your list, make it this festive season. Again, you can make it ahead of time, you can gift them, just leave them on the Christmas table. Everyone loves a cookie, just make this recipe. The cool thing about this recipe as well is that you can make them in whatever shape you like. For example, I did mine in snowflakes, but you can do yours in the traditional gingerbread cookie or whatever cookie cutters that you have around. They're super fun. You can also decorate them however you like. So it's a really beautiful festive recipe and one you should definitely make this festive season. So there you go guys, those are my seven must make recipes this festive season. As I said, there's some sweet, there's some savory, choose the one that suits your occasion. And if you are looking for more recipes, make sure you do check out my ebook, Merry Delicious Christmas. It's up on my website, I'll leave it in the description box. And if you do purchase it, it's only $9. It's got beautiful recipes like eggnog, it's got Christmas Rocky Road and old classics like bread and butter pudding. So thank you to those who have already purchased it. It really does help support me and my channel and help bring you delicious new recipes every single week. So I really hope that the, all of these recipes have helped inspire you and give you some ideas to get in the kitchen and make for yourself, your friends and your family this festive season. Thanks again for joining me. Make sure that you do like and subscribe and hit the bell because I have a new video coming out every single week. And thanks again, wishing you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Bye.